I asked Vince to give us some insight into video editing once he has the visual style he wants to use in camera. Now let's just say that you've done uh, this and you've gotten uh, the adjustments set up in picture style the way you like it. Yeah. When you do get into post, are you finding that you're able to really tweak the image the way you like it? Surprisingly, after all said and done, I think you can do a tremendous amount in post. Uh, you can really just take an overcast day and make it look like it's a warm, you know, sunny afternoon glow. Mm -hmm. um, what you can't fix are things like overexposure or going out of the realm of what the camera can capture. So whenever you crush the blacks, which means you go way too dark, or you blow out the highlights, which means you go past you know, the pure white, or you go in a certain tonal range with colors, you're way, way too yellow or too blue. You can only drag so much information back into that you know, center area. Right. that uh, you're living in. And in terms of editing, is, are there any differences? I think it's actually really simple. The Canons shoot a format that is a compressed format. It's called AVCH.264. And that requires the computers to have a lot of processing power and graphics power to decompress that live. So a lot of even the top of the line computers will choke on that. So whether you're a PC person or a Mac person, your first step should be to convert that footage into a format that your computer can deal with it a bit more uh, eloquently. Uh, in other words, you want a type of footage that will not have to decompress and decompress every time you read it. So find out what software you're going to be editing, the best format that it likes to work in, and convert this footage into that format. Once you're off and you've done that, you're off to the races. How are you going to deliver that? And uh, that's a good question again because it's ironically the question people tend to ask themselves a bit too late in the process. The first question you should ask yourself, whether uh, you're just starting off or have clients, is what's the deliverable? What's the end result here? Are you going to play this on a silver screen, on your television, on your computer screen, or on your phone? So find out what's your end goal here and you're good to go.